come again to simple course progression. Um, today we'll be learning how to how to be able to master playing with uh, your left hand and then your right hand on the piano. Very simple. So before we, we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and then turn on the notification bell. Get get notified anytime we upload a new video here. Keep it locked. Use just five seconds to do that and then let's continue. Okay, so I know you guys are done. So um one one way to to learn how to play with both hands. You know, actually playing with the left is quite difficult when as a beginner when learning. Playing with the left hand is quite difficult. Um so let me give you some few tips on how to be able to master playing with both your left and then your right hand. First of all, before you be able to to do this, um, you you need to sync your 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 mind. Yes, you need to sync your mind with both hands because this one might be playing a different thing. Different thing. Sorry, this one will also be playing a different thing. So you know you have to sync your your brain or your mind, and then you need to be very focused. Not too much. If if you are over focused, you'll be playing nonsense. Sorry to say, but you need to be focused on what you are playing. Yes, and then eye contact. Like you need to be able to be moving your eyes. I, don't be playing the keyboard and be looking elsewhere. You know sometimes it's fun though, but maybe you look at the congregation or the audience for maybe some few seconds and then you turn back to your keys so your, your eyes should be going from left to right yes you understand from left to right uh, in that in that manner and then constant practice you need to be able to be practicing you have to be practicing most of the time hands maybe if it's do re mi do re mi fa so la ti do do if you can't be playing do re mi fa so la ti do to the end maybe from from one to one or one to eight you just play do re mi fa do re mi fa then you continue as time goes on you'll be be perfect so let me just help you with one or two let's say I'm, I'm, I'm on i'm on a do so a one so one the one consists of um, one, three, and then five. That's my do. So if I'm playing one, uh, my one, three, and five here, I can play my, I can play a one here, and then a one here. So octave, one here, one here, and then you can add this one, the five. As your left for your bass, so. So you can be exercising. You know. And then on my let me use the major chord. So on my four, you can have this one. Wow octave of a four and then a one in the middle so, or something like this so your four and then a five this is it five two and then five So a song like um, So you see it 
Look, I'm using this to practice. practicing to help you be able to play with both hands so da 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 and then after this you um you need to you need to know the uh, i know you know that the triad for every chord so a uh, one is one three and five so one three five so my left one three five. You see, you have to be playing uh, the chords with your left two. So one three five. A four will be one four and then six. Five. Let's use this. Uh, two five and then seven. So you know this. When I'm on a one, I know I have my one three five here. My four, I have my four, six, one. You can use this one too. Wow. You fit this and then on a five, five, seven, and then two. Start from a very low tempo to a very to a high tempo where you think you are tired. You can't be tired too. It will help you build a very strong fingers for uh, your left hand. So. Then we increase the tempo. So you can be learning, you can be doing this too, to help you build um, strong muscles for your for your your left hand. Yeah, your left hand. I think th this is or this is the few tips I can give you. Constant practice is the key. You um, even a woman doesn't get pregnant and deliver the same day or something. It's a gradual process. You understand so. Keep on learning and then we'll get there done. God bless you for staying with me. Share this piece with the loved ones. See you next time you see you. Keep on learning.